Hey, what's up guys, Andre here, and welcome back to Expose. All right guys, before we get into it, Kristen has the news. Hey guys, let's get into the news poolside. It's a relaxing environment this week. First up, Rudy Colby made an appearance on Crave Online's B-Movie podcast recently. It's a little talk about movies, lots of talk about Rudy. You're definitely gonna wanna check it out. Killer Magic premiered in the UK. The show stars Dee Christopher, Chris Cox, Ben Hart, Damien O'Brien, and Jazz Vegas. The show involves the magicians competing against each other in a series of tasks. They score each other, and the magician that ends up with the lowest score then has to attempt a dangerous illusion. Sounds pretty awesome, so if you are in the UK, tune into BBC3 for the six-part series. The Hollywood Reporter announced recently that Derek Delgado is attached to a new Disney film that's said to be about the last hundred years or so of magic through the eyes of a magician. Huge congrats to Derek on that. We'll keep you apprised of more details on the film as they are released. Neil Patrick Harris was in a yogurt commercial recently doing some awesome magic. Definitely check that out. It's MPH. How can it be bad? It's legendary if you saw the How I Met Your Mother finale. David Copperfield's show at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas made it onto USA Today's travel website as one of the 10 best places for fools and getting fooled in honor of April Fool's Day. That was a lot of the word fool in that sentence. Congratulations to David Copperfield. It's a really awesome show. You guys should see it. And finally, Brett Loudermilk is the newest cast member of Rose Rabbit Lie at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas. You can catch him doing his thing starting mid-April or so for the next five months. So head over to Vegas, check it out. I'm gonna go swimming. Bye guys. All right guys, so I'm gonna switch things up this week and I'm gonna start with the comment contest right now. Last week, Michael James asked you, who is the person you look up to most and why? And before we reveal who the winner is, I want to thank you guys so much and extend the gratitude from Zach Mueller, Michael James, uh, and myself, of course, and saying thank you so much for uh, picking us and whoever commented and saying us. Really, really humbling. Thank you guys so much. Sincerely. That said, I was thinking to myself, uh, you know, if anybody picks the same person I'm thinking, uh, then they're going to win uh, because we have a really young audience viewership and I doubt anyone's going to think of the same person I'm thinking. And uh, I said that if that did happen, I would eat a playing card. <sighs> yep, that happened. So congratulations to Tom Newen who said Warren Buffett. Uh, if you guys don't know who Warren Buffett is, please look him up. Uh, I wish I had known who he was and has seen his videos, seen his presentations and his talks when I was 15 and I was working a summer job and uh, saving up for a camera and you know to film my flourish videos, my cardistry, uh, it would have been really, really helpful. But it's great to be reminded that there is somebody like Warren Buffett that exists out there. So for the few of you that will check him out, please do. And again, he's not a magician, but it will do magical things for you in the future if you take it seriously. So please go do some research. This week's comment contest is gonna be a little different. I wanna hear what you guys did for April Fools. Did you prank your friends? What is the craziest thing you've done on April Fools? Uh, tell us all your stories, and if you didn't do anything fun and crazy exciting, tell us a joke. Make us laugh, make us cry, say something funny, and we'll pick the winner. And uh, you'll get Foundations 3, or Monument, Genesis, or Solo. It's great, whatever it is you want. Uh, if you're a flourisher or a card expert, let us know, and uh, we'll forward that to you. Uh, but comment in the section below and uh, make us laugh. Finally, this week we have two new wire releases by Dan Hammond. He's got great ones. First of which is Popcorn, which is a color change or a card switch. It's actually really great, uh, but it's a little awkward in the hand positions of how you're holding the card, but I think if you tweak it and you modify it to be a card switch, and you can do it face down in the motion of dealing the card, because it's kind of right in that position to where you can pivot it around. And I think if you do it in a smooth motion, it can work great in a gambling demo if you can just pivot it as you switch it. So that might work. The second thing is Flappy, which is a color change and a card switch, of course. Uh, works either way and very, very visual. And they're both available for a low, low price of free. So go check it out right now. You have no excuses. Go download it in the wire section and uh, go enjoy it. Get those creative juices flowing. That's it for me, and I will see you guys next time.